I'll share my secret. I think whatever father do is it's inspiring and based on how you interpret it. So this was a tip for her. Now you don't ever think that why he said this. <laughs> <laughs> there was something good for you. <laughs> and language wise, uh, we stick to English or we can mix and match Hindi. Or okay. Hindi mix and match is good. Is okay. But Telugu no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere, something in Telugu. <laughs> Avoid, yeah. But maybe just to say something from your play, then you'll have to translate it. So. <coughs> I'm okay. I mean, I'm from Hyderabad, so I know not that yeah, fluent it's, Hindi. Yeah. But. It's, what is happening? It's like burning. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, it'll yeah, be like that. Yeah, because of the light. It's what, like that. Another request to you, Trisha, is don't move your chair while okay. you're speaking on air. I'm glad I got the stationary one because I have yeah, a habit no, of just... I always do. <laughs> I enjoy myself <laughs> moving. हमारे वक्त की धड़कन हमारा चिंतन हमारी भावनाएं हमारे विचार कभी कोमल बातचीत तो कभी इंटरेक्शन तेज तर्रार तय करें मिलकर वॉट इज रॉन्ग वॉट इज राइट आई टी वी पर अशोक व्यास के साथ इन साइट टू नाइट नमस्कार मैं हूं अशोक व्यास कार्यक्रम इन साइट टू नाइट में आपका स्वागत करते हुए आपके साथ ग्रीट करने वाला दिन है दो दिन के बाद जब हम सुनेंगे कहेंगे हैप्पी फादर्स डे अपने अपने पिता को याद करना हमारे लिए एक सोर्स ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन भी होता है और उसके साथ एक प्यार की दुलार की नदी सी जो बचपन से बहती आई होती है वो कभी हमें भिगो देती है और ये भीगना हमें अच्छा भी लगता है क्योंकि इस भीगने के साथ में भी जो हमारे भीतर का आनंद है वो हमारे लिए खुलता है ये पिता की दृष्टि होती है जो हमें ये याद दिलाती है कि सपने वो नहीं होते जो हम सोते हुए देखते हैं बल्कि सपने वो होते हैं जो हमें सोने नहीं देते हैं तो ऐसे सपनों की तरफ ले जाने वाले एक पिता अपनी पुत्री के साथ हमारे स्टूडियो में है और एक पुत्री अपने पिता की ताजा ताजा रचनात्मक स्मृतियों के साथ हमारे स्टूडियो में है 
and while i have the pleasure pleasure of uh, greeting you all on uh, this friday with uh, happy father's day i take this opportunity of welcoming uh, first of all shri nivas guduru ji to our studio namaskar shri nivas ji shri ji is of course a writer playwright director a person from information technology and he's a source of inspiration especially for his daughter as well and uh, trisha guduru is also with us trisha welcome so you uh, look like you should have won some pageant beauty pageant what was it it is miss south asia international so we um, clap for south <laughs> miss south asia international Thank you. and she is not only devoted to saundarya she is also dedicated to seva and uh, associated with unicef uh, queens college what she has done we'll find out from her down the line but let me have the pleasure of welcoming geeta sethia ji geeta ji namaste namaskar and our viewers know you as a singer as a wonderful presenter but today you are also here with the treasure of memories of your papa ji let's begin uh, with trisha so trisha when was uh, that moment that you started becoming aware of the importance of the role that your father is playing in your life in terms of helping you understand where to go I think it all started um in India back in India um when um, you know as a bank manager he used to travel to different villages in India and uh, I was with I was with him along and um, you know in these villagers people struggled for a lot of you know basic necessities that we take you know advantage of here and I think my father was telling me you know see you know um some kids were just roaming around um on the streets just you know when I was going to school I asked my dad dad you know why aren't they in school just like me and uh, my dad was like you know look pet up you know they can't afford school and uh, you know things like that you know he really told me the importance of like how fortunate we are and you know that you know there are real struggles outside that you know you should be aware of yeah तो ये रियल स्ट्रगल्स के बारे में परिचय पिता करवाएं ऐसे पिता भी कम होते हैं वो सब ये सोचते हैं कि वो कोमल कोमल रास्तों पर ही चलता रहे उसके पाँव में कभी कांटे लगे ही नहीं उसको पता भी नहीं चले कि दुनिया में मुसीबतें हैं तकलीफें हैं दुख हैं अभाव हैं तो एक संतुलित दृष्टि विकसित हो इसमें पिता की बड़ी भूमिका रहती है तो पिता की भूमिका निभाने वाले श्री जी की तरफ बढ़ने से पहले मैं गीता जी से उसी प्रश्न के साथ जुड़ना चाहता हूँ बचपन से आपके पिता का जो साहित्य की तरफ रुझान था उसकी क्या स्मृति है आपके साथ मुझे जो पहली याद है अपने पिताजी की वो है मैं कोई तीन या चार साल की होंगी मैंने हमेशा अपने फादर को देखा शाम को स्कूल से जब आती थी वो घर आते थे अपना चाय वगैरह ले कर देन आई वुड सी हिम सिटिंग बाई हिम अपने में एक मौन में बैठे होते आज भी मुझे वो याद है और मैं उनसे जाके एक दिन पूछा मैंने कहा आप ऐसे चुपचाप बैठे होते हैं आप कुछ सोच रहे हैं कि आप बिल्कुल क्या चल रहा है क्या सोचते हैं आप जब आप अकेले बैठे होते और उनका मुझे उत्तर था मैं कुछ नहीं सोचता एक आनंद में बैठा हूँ और मुझे तब समझ में नहीं आई वो बात पर आज मुझे वो इतनी वैल्यूएबल एक चीज़ लगती है जो इस जिसका अनुसरण मैं खुद कर रही हूँ आजकल और उसके अलावा फादर माय फादर वाज वेरी मच इनटू द लिटरेचर हर तरह का आई मस्ट बी फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड वेन ही रेड अस टॉल स्टोरीज चार्ल्स डिकन्स ये नाम मैंने उनसे सुने और कहानियाँ पढ़ते थे हमें वो और वो हमें समझ में आती थी कुछ नहीं भी आती थी पर वो रोज़ बैठ के हमें पढ़ते थे and rabindranath tagore happens to be his favorite wonderful so beautiful it was to kisi kavi ne kaha ki aap apne bacche ko kar chahe mat dilao par usko sanskar zarur dena to jo sanskar se samriddh karne wale pita hain aise pita ke pita bhi unhe sanskarit karne wale rahe honge so shri ji if you recollect uh, your father as a child where you were growing up in hyderabad yes actually I'm born in uh, Warangal which is about 100 kilometers from Hyderabad 
but uh, my education and got settled in Hyderabad after I grew up. But uh, my childhood, uh, childhood was all uh, from Varangal, and my father, <coughs> he used to make 200 rupees a month, and we were, of that, we were paying about 75 rupees for the rent, rent and rest we, family of seven, had to survive. Oh, man. So, but still, we were uh, a happy family. So we used to, whenever um, power chale jata tha, Saad mein baith ke gana gaate the. And the way. अगर आपको गाना याद हो वो वाला उस वक्त जो साथ बैठ के गाते थे जब लाइट चली जाती थी तो कौन सा गाना गाते थे? तेलुगु का कोई गीत था? तेलुगु का और या especially devotional. So you want me to? हाँ थोड़ा सा गुनगुनाएँ. Okay. That is. नी कुंड कुनी वे रपिंचुको आपदमोकुलु मार पाई पिंचुको नी कुंड कु नी वे रपिंचुको So just imagine the song that you are listening from Shriji. He was singing with other six siblings when there is no light. This is Warangal. And uh, as he mentioned, uh, his father was earning 200 rupees, 75 was uh, being given for the rent, and still it was a happy family. Imagine that. So this tells us that happiness comes from some area that is not directly dependent on how much uh, you are making. So I think that is a inspirational quote coming from his own experience uh, on this Father's Day. And I want to share a wonderful poem uh, by a seven-year-old kid. And I believe in just a minute and a half what you will hear from him. Uh, it, it is mind-boggling. Uh, so let, let's take a look how he has expressed what is Father Pita Kya Hai. जो दुखों की बारिश में छतरी बन तंते हैं, घर के दरवाजे पर नजर बट्टू बन तंते हैं, समेट लेते हैं, सबका अंधेरा पीतल खुद आंगन में एक दीपक बन चलते हैं, ऐसे होते हैं पिता, बेशक पिता धोरी नहीं सुनाते और माँ की तरह आंसू भी नहीं बहाते, दिन रात के थकान के बावजूद रात का पहरा बन जाते हैं, जब सुबह निकलते हैं पिता, तिनकों की खोज में किसी के खिलौने, किसी की किताबें, किसी की मिठाई, किसी की दवाएं, परवास पर होते हैं घर पर के सपने, पिता कब होते हैं खुद के अपने? पर सच है, हाँ सच है, माँ सोए ना है पिता का था, माँ आंसू है पिता के था, माँ प्यार है पिता संस्कार, माँ दुलार है पिता व्यवहार, दरअसल पिता वो वो है जो माँ नहीं है, माँ जमीन पिता आसमान, ये बात कितनी सही है, हाँ हाँ पिता वो हिमालय है जो घर के सुरक्षा के लिए सीना तान करता ना होता है, पिता ना हो तो घर कितना अलमा ना होता है, हाँ पिता हो तो घर स्वर्ग होता है, पिता ना हो तो उनकी स्मृतियाँ भी अपना फर्ज निभाते हैं, पिता की जो तस्वीर से भी दुआ याद है, पिता की जो तस्वीर से भी दुआ है। पिता के बारे में जो बातें कवि ने कही और इस बालक ने हम तक पहुँचाई, सुनते हुए कहीं कहीं आँखें भीग जाती हैं। पिता आसमान है और वो जो सारा पूरे परिवार में प्यार और सुरक्षा बनी रहे ऐसा भाव लेकर वो जो चलता है तो रिश्तों के साथ ये जो प्रेरणा वाली लय हमारे जीवन में आती है उसमें कभी-कभी ऐसा होता है कि कभी खुशी के आंसू आते हैं और कभी इसलिए भी आंसू आते हैं कि कुछ जो हमने चाहा था वो नहीं हुआ तो जब ऐसे हमारे आंसू होते हैं तो पिता ऐसे में क्या करते हैं? If I ask this question to Trisha, was there any occasion that you recollect that you were crying and your father came to your help? When I was crying? Yeah, I think I guess when 
you know, usually I do a lot of things um, in Molin community work and uh, school work and a uh, club. You know, sometimes it gets really overwhelming, and you know, my dad is always there um, telling me, you know, you're doing a great job, being so supportive and believing in me. I think that's one of the main things that really motivates me because having parents, um, you know, especially my dad, you know, believing in, you know, in their kids is one of the most um, supporting things that you know they can do and I think that kind of like sums, sums it up and it gives you more energy and you want to do more and more and yeah it's soothing to have you know dad who can you know who, who's believing in me yeah so if someone believes in you uh, that becomes your strength and uh, when that strength is reflected in the form of the glory that you bring for the community, then community also recognizes you. So we uh, share this small clip which Trisha doesn't know what it is. So let's watch and it's a small surprise for her. <laughs> So here are the claps, yes. continuing for you. Thank now, you. Um, when there is any beauty pageant, then parents have double mind whether yeah. the daughter should yeah. go or should not go. So with this Miss South Asia International 2014, uh, when she decided that she wants to be a part of this pageant, yes. what was your immediate uh, response? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, you know, I don't like them or not that, you know, we, we watch all kinds of pageants. But when uh, Trisha and the director of the actual pageant uh, uh, herself spoke, spoke to me, and because obviously I didn't want to say no without knowing what that is about, right? And uh, I'm open-minded. I'm not like kind of too traditional person who want to hide the... Uh, girls home, not kind of that kind of thing. So if there is an opportunity and if it's the right opportunity, why not? That's kind of person I am. So when I spoke to them, what they mentioned is, this is not just about the beauty or those, those you know, scantily uh, clad uh, dresses. It's not like that. It's more about your platform, what you have accomplished, plus your beauty, of course, which is in the material of the pageant. So there is a vision there is a purpose and there is definitely a message that every candidate has to spread out. That's what <clears throat> I thought, okay, this is something she has been doing and why not the world get the message? That's what motivated me and I said, all right, better, chalo. <laughs> so we'll talk to Trisha how she prepared for it and what was her mind telling her when she was um, experiencing this process. But uh, we'll continue our conversation right after this short break. To advertise in this show, please call 347-653-1309. Consult Swami Manjiji for accurate horoscope reading, palm reading, and likelihood of love, marriage, children, business, health, immigration, and court cases. Swamiji removes black magic, gives protection and helps in removing various problems by powerful holy mantras and meditation on God. Free check of black magic. Excellent results. Call 718-358-2901. The number again, 718-358-2901. Your eyes are the windows to your world. Trust your eyes to Malik Eye Care. This is where ophthalmology, optometry, and opticianry join under one roof to meet all your vision needs. Our offices house a plethora of state-of-the-art lasers and diagnostic equipment. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist and a member of the American Academy of Ophthalmology, and also a fellow of the American College of Physicians and Surgeons. I've done thousands of ocular surgeries to restore vision to many patients. Consult our offices to see how we can improve your vision. We look forward to seeing you at your next appointment. Spirituality is the medium. 
which frees our mind of all emotional shackles and temptations and guides us towards enlightenment and peace. Himali Spiritual Center is the gateway to liberation from pain, misery and suffering. Here, through religion, meditation, yoga, worship and gem therapy, all troubles are treated. Himali Spiritual Center, 718-887-2929. Rajasthani Association of North America invites you to its fourth convention from 3rd July to 6th July. Three days of Shandar Entertainment, Rajasthani folk dances, Bollywood night with Papi Lahirian party, Lajabab Rajasthani food, a special sessions for youth and matrimony. In a bazaar, jewelry, register online, ranausa.org, 516-286-1774. When considering where to host your wedding banquet or party, consider the Lafayette Yard Hotel, conveniently located in central New Jersey. The Lafayette Yard Hotel offers a beautifully appointed grand ballroom with seating for up to 400 people and over 150 guest rooms, including four suites and ample safe and closed parking in the adjacent garage. The Lafayette is truly your best choice. Call Ibrahim at 404-491-5674 or 609-421-4000 and make an appointment today. Welcome back in today's Insight Tonight program. We are fortunate to have Trisha with us. And she's here with her father uh, to celebrate Father's Day. And right after the show, I believe uh, she will be taken for a party by her dad. Am I right, Sriji? <laughs> yes. And the uncle's here too. <laughs> they said it has to be. And thanks for having us on the show and giving Trisha an opportunity to you know, so, Trisha, we have this opportunity of now asking you, what made you decide that I want to be a part of this Miss South Asia pageant? And uh, many, many times we feel nervous that if I go, what people will think, etc. So, how your mind uh, works with you? Um, I guess. Um, I saw, I was looking through pageants because I was always interested since I was young. I was always into like pageantry, like, um, but um, when I saw there was this website of Miss South Asia International, this is something that actually I've been looking for because I'm, I'm so involved with community work and uh, what Miss South Asia International has is that, you know, um, it's very platform based and I'm going to Miss International in August in Florida that it's very, very platform-based, meaning um, the causes that you believe in. Um, so basically, I have my community background, community service background, and I wanted to do something with pageantry, and I put my dream and my passion together, and I was like, Dad, you know, um, you know, this is a thing. Is do you, would you like me to do it? And um, of so course, we are sharing some yes. of the images where you're working as. Uh with UNICEF? Yes, UNICEF. So what do you do with UNICEF? So UNICEF stands for United Nations Children's Emergency Fund. So it provides um, immunizations and vaccines, education and nutrition for children worldwide. So yeah, and we fundraise, educate, and advocate for these issues. So in general, when someone is uh, very much uh, connected with any cause, uh, there is this current of uh, kind of call it worry or concern uh, that is on the borderline of a little bit of stress uh, because you have to mobilize people, resources, uh, coordinate, etc. So your mind is uh, uh, moving towards that direction. Uh, parallel to that awareness of serving, how do you manage to uh, keep both of them together? Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, I'm very good at organizing things. Well, um, as I entered pageantry, I got very organized with it. And with my dad helping me also, and my parents. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's very tough to put handle, but once you know time management, I think you can do it. And that's one of the things that I have learned and what pageantry has you know, taught me. Wonderful. So she uh, has used the word time and time management. So now is the time if you want to call and say something about your dad in today's show, you may start calling. But uh, I want to ask uh, how 
टाइम मैनेजमेंट वॉज टॉट टू यू गीता जी बाई योर फादर वॉज एनी थिंग इन इज हैबिट्स और समथिंग दैट ही सेड हेल्प यू इन बींग ऑर्गेनाइज माई फादर इज अ वेरी पंक्चुअल मैन ही रिस्पेक्ट्स टाइम एंड ही बिलीव्स नॉट वेस्टिंग हिज और एनी बडी एल्स इज टाइम दैट वॉज वन सेंटेंस आई ऑलवेज हर इम डोंट एवर वेस्ट योर टाइम और एनी बडी एल्स इज इट नेवर कम्स बैक दैट्स वन थिंग विच नेवर कम्स बैक एंड thanks to him i must say that i am very very well myself with timing and that is something i learned from him and along with the time management i must add here that one of the very important things in life which i feel at this time is having self confidence and that was definitely taught by my father especially exam days i remember I was in 6th or 7th grade and I was very scared right before the exam and you know you black out all of a sudden and I'm just sitting there I started crying and I was trembling and he comes to the room and he's like what's wrong I said I'm just I'm just blank here I I just can't do it and he quietly closed my book he picked me up very nicely he said let's go for a walk I just looked at him I'm like how can you even think of a walk let's go for a walk <laughs> we walked outside for maybe 20 minutes 25 minutes and right towards the end of our walk he very gently he said to me beta remember one thing when confidence is there half the battle is won and that's all i came home opened my book again and could just do it so easily and so nicely and that memory is so vivid i showed you in my mind till today i just think of that and i think i'm ready for almost any challenge in my life so i i clap on that I, and and i think we uh, find very few fathers of the kind who will have uh, this kind of profound impact that you would recollect uh, the way this sentence was told stays forever ist in your um, consciousness to इस तरह की पर्सनैलिटी बहुत सारे पिताजी की होती नहीं है एक्चुअली एंड स्पेशली अब जैसे जैसे समय बदलता जा रहा है पता चलता है कि ज़्यादातर पिता इस बात की शिकायत करते सुनाई देते हैं कि उनके बच्चे उनकी बात सुनते नहीं हैं तो श्री जी अब मैं आपकी टांग नहीं खींच रहा हूँ जैसे बोल चाल में कहता है बट हाउ डू यू रेट योर सेल्फ ऑन दैट एंड इफ यू इंसिस्ट ऑन योर वे देन there would be uh, some sort of a tug of war how do you deal with that space happens a lot <laughs> as a father you also might have experienced but it happens a lot because um priorities your uh, uh they they conflict always right and uh, if i'm going out i call half an hour before get ready this time i'm arriving and we are leaving by this time if it's not happening obviously there will be conflict so i basically i'm i'm not trying to you know uh, be uh, pretend that i'm an idealistic father but definitely what i do with my family is i tell them first my expectations communication communication is very very vital and very important i tell them this is what i'm expecting this is what time we leave it's taking a small example of going out right so if that is not happening next time you will have a little bit of the tone changes but you you'll tell them and by then they they got it and they they you know uh, they know if we are not starting then that is going to be mad. so and it's not only that even con- coming to education wherever you we have and sometimes i compromise because sometimes they are right but it's not like my way or a highway it's not like that <laughs> so so yeah, i i, I just, believe in a two way yeah. communication i receive their uh, you know point of view and then i think about it and you know we go that way so two way communication is important aap kehne kehne mein hi nahi rahe sunne sunne mein bhi rahe to kehne sunne ke sath jo baat banti hai wo badi madhur hoti hai and now i will share a small clip of that video where you will see how a mature uh, videographer <laughs> has shot this beautiful moment between a father 
and son, both of them on stage. None other than Sonu Nigam. Let's watch. मर जाऊं या जी लूं जरा जब छोटा बच्चा कोई ऐसी बात करता है वो चाहे जैसी भी हो पिता को प्यारी ही लगती है एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज इनक्रेडिबली टैलेंटेड किड इस तरह के जो दृश्य होते हैं जिसमें पिता पुत्र का या माँ बेटा माँ बेटी कोई भी संबंध का जो प्रेम का झरना है वो इतनी निश्चलता से uh, इतनी सहजता से बहता है तो हमें बड़ा अच्छा लगता है तो ये जो अच्छा लगने वाला भाव है इसके लिए हमारा माइंडसेट कैसा होना चाहिए उसकी ट्रेनिंग अनकॉन्शियसली माता पिता के द्वारा बच्चों तक होती जाती है सो टेकिंग दैट एस्पेक्ट गीता जी इफ यू रिकलेक्ट योर फादर द एलिमेंट ऑफ कंपेशन इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ अवर पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ अवर लाइफ तो उनको देखकर उनसे क्या आपको ऐसा सीखने का मौका मिला जो दूसरों के साथ व्यवहार में आप आप पोलाइट रहे विनम्र रहे ये सारी बातें बचपन से आती हैं मेरे जो मुझे सबसे बड़ा लेसन अपने फादर से मिला विच आई फाइंड वेरी रेयर इज सिंप्लिसिटी सिंप्लिसिटी रहने में व्यवहार में सोच में एक साफ होना बिल्कुल और जहाँ तक कंपैशन का हिसाब है आई डोंट रिमेंबर इवन वन मोमेंट इन माय लाइफ जब मुझे अपने फादर अपने सामने नहीं मिले मुझे जब भी उनकी कभी ज़रूरत हुई है बिना ज़रूरत के भी काम से सीधा आना सिंपल लाइफ अपना चाय का कपड़े के बैठते थे साथ में ही वुड कॉल मी सिट विद मी टेल मी अबाउट योर डे अब ये बहुत छोटी सी बात है सोचने के लिए कि बच्चा अपनी कहानियाँ में भी अपनी कर देती थी जो भी करती थी बट दैट रियलाइजेशन केम टू मी लेटर हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इज फॉर अ चाइल्ड कि अपनी बात कह पाना उनको भी ये मालूम होना कि मेरा डे टू डे में हाउ आई एम and that compassion i always always felt from my father and i like to and i try to give it to my kids he was always and still is always there for me so before um, we move away from you in this part you are a singer your mother is a singer and i believe there must be some song which your father loves listening from you is there any there are few i would say he is very very fond of shero shayari and poetry in any form he writes he writes so you ki father's day ko aap unhe kuch suna rahi hain to kya aap sunayenge do pankhtiyan jab main apne father ka sochti hu to mujhe ek gana bahut mere ko yaad aata hai because he used to we used to go together for morning walks on india gate and it was beautiful and the song i can think of is sung by kishor kumar for durga gan ke chhao mein with his son आ चल की तुझे मैं ले के चलूँ एक ऐसी गगन की तली जहाँ गम भी न हो आंसू भी न हो बस प्यार ही प्यार पले एक ऐसी गगन की तली तो चलिए ऐसे गगन की तरफ चलते हैं जहाँ गम भी नहीं हो आंसू भी नहीं हो और प्यार ही प्यार बोलता और ऐसा गगन कहाँ पर है उसका पता आपको लगे तो हमें भी बताइएगा तो बात हम कर रहे हैं त्रिशा से 
Atrisha, you have seen your father. Sometimes I guess he must be a disciplinarian. कुछ कुछ डांटते वाटते होंगे ऐसा मुझे लगता है। तो but when you see he also writes plays, how was that for you to see? वो घर में इतना strict रहते हैं, फिर ये drama भी करते हैं। So and share with me, you also acted with him on stage? Yes. Uh, something about that, my dad is um, really amuses me is that um, you know as a computer engineer and like when he comes home he starts writing up this place that I'm like where do you have the time to you know do this this is like you know you have to for a play you need to organize the plays the characters the story the timeline I mean it's just amazing and uh, you know, um, I would love to act with them. It's, 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 it's amazing to be on the stage with your dad acting. Um, but um, he finds time and it's just such a, he has such a creative mind towards, um, you know, place. And I absolutely adore that about him. Yeah. So I think it is good, uh, Sriji, to uh, hear such things from your daughter just before Father's Day or for that matter, any day. But sincerely speaking, uh, when you started writing, and why do you feel writing plays uh, is more important than writing stories uh, from your creative um, needs point of view? That, that's a good question. Actually, I started like any you know young guy. You know, I started writing poems first. And no poems. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so and then it. Uh, translating to, you know, looking at the events in life and uh, trying to communicate that in a dramatic way. So that's where story writing started. I did that for at least, uh, I think, seven, eight years before I came here. And writing the plays uh, happened when I joined this uh, Telugu Association, our community association here in uh, New York. Um, and. Uh, Mostly all the events will be like dances and those kind of things, but I, the play thing was missing. So I thought, okay, let's start this so that, you know, people have the, uh, the people who are passionate, actually, there are really great actors who acted way back in India and were looking for something, you know, to share here with them. So that's the kind of necessity of mother of invention, people call it. So that's where I thought, okay, we need to have plays in our association functions too. It's a three to midnight marathon, nine hours of uh, uh, event. Uh, we celebrate major uh, festivals like Diwali, Sankranti, which is a harvest festival, New Year, Ugadi. So this is Telugu so, Literary and Cultural Association. It's yes. a very big organization. As a Single been serving largest. the community for such a long time, and while uh, you are being seen by our viewers, there is a picture that they see with you in which uh, you have your son and daughter both. So what was that play? Um, th this is the <laughs> <laughs> this is the one which uh, we enacted the songs melodies from 70s to 2011 I, I, I remember. So I choreographed the 70th uh, uh, section. That's when um, my son was in, uh, he was in 80s, uh, sorry, I think 90s to 2000 section. So we worked together. I choreographed the, about like six to seven songs, remixed a little bit. So it, it all happened and we all three were uh, on the dais. We enjoyed it a lot. So enjoying a lot is a great thing and I think Father's Day somewhere reminds us uh, that we should create such moments which stays with us, uh, which uh, are like treasure of enriching memories. So what can you do? What can you do? What can you do that Father's Day is really special? We'll talk a little bit about it right after this break. Advertise in this show, please call 347-653-1309. Spirituality is the medium which frees our mind of all emotional shackles and temptations and guides us towards enlightenment and peace. Himali Spiritual Center 
is the gateway to liberation from pain, misery, and suffering. Here, through religion, meditation, yoga, worship, and gem therapy, all troubles are treated. Himali Spiritual Center, 718-887-2929. हमने उसके बारह आदमियों को मारा, वो हम पर जरूर अटैक करेंगे। क्या पांच लड़कियां किडनैप हुई हैं? पांचों लड़कियों से ज़्यादा वो स्लीपर सेल्स का हेड इम्पोर्टेंट है। अगर तेरे घर से कोई किडनैप हो जाए, तो पांच लड़कियों में एक लड़की मेरी बहन है, समझे? हज़ारों को मिटाने का इरादा रखने वाले जब वो टेररिस्ट अपनी जान दे सकते हैं, तो हम लोग रक्षा करने वाले नहीं दे सकते। I am your immigration attorney, Michael Fulwani. And I'm your immigration attorney, David Nachman. Keep watching us, our program on immigration and you. For the latest information, updates, and developments about immigration law. Every Saturday at 8.15 p.m. And wake up to us on Sunday at 11.45 a.m. Do you want to lose weight fast? Then get out your smartphone now. Because Only Protein, the protein system for weight loss, has a great TV offer. Only Protein is about athletic performance. It's also a great meal replacement that helps you lose weight. Performance, princess. Weight loss, big shot. People are passionate about the Only Protein system. The results are for real. Because it does more than boost your energy, it also helps control your appetite and burn fat all day. I'm losing weight without losing muscle. Just 100 and three calories per serving. The meal replacement you want, the energy you need. It's more than just protein. It's only protein. All right, you win. With only protein, we both win. It's about feeling better. And being better. I feel better than I have in years. Order now and get our meal replacement on the go 10 pack. Protein powder five pack. Plus our new Metatherm weight loss pills. It's an $84 weight loss value for just $19.99 risk free. Order now and get free shipping. Only protein. Feel better, be better. Attention women and men. How would you like to lose weight and noticeable inches off your stomach in less than an hour? Well, now you can. Introducing Optima Body Wrap, the revolutionary, easy-to-use body wrap that goes to work fast. It's like nothing you've ever tried before. There are no expensive meals to buy, strenuous workouts, and you don't have to change your daily life. Now you can go from this to this in no time. It's so easy to use. Just take out the ready-to-use cloth applicator with our powerful botanical formula and put it on your stomach, legs, or your butt. The Optima Body Wrap works fast to hydrate your skin and deliver maximum tightening and firming in less than an hour. Look at that, that's two inches. Wow, this really works. I dropped over three inches in an hour. So if you want to go from this to this in less than an hour, call and get your Optima Body Wrap for just $19.95. And if you call in the next 15 minutes, we'll give you a second body wrap for free. Just pay additional process and handle. That's less than $10 per wrap. Call now. Look at me. 26 pounds, four months later, didn't change a thing. Welcome back, you're watching Inside Tonight. Inspirational Father's Day is talking about the story of Father's Day. And now, in a few years, if you want to reach your father's father, you want to reach your father's 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 कि वो शब्दों में आ ही नहीं सकती हैं तो आप बिना कॉल किए भी हमारे साथ बने हुए हैं ये विश्वास हमारे पास है तो ये जो विश्वास की बात है इसको लेके मैं फिर श्रीजी की तरफ बढ़ना चाह रहा हूँ और ये लिखने वाली जो एक कला है वो दूसरे पढ़ेंगे तो क्या सोचेंगे Will it be acceptable by the audience if you are writing a play and especially when you were working on writing a play related to the great legendary A N R, correct? A N R. So how that idea came to you? And then you played uh, A N R also. Share with us about that play. Yeah, this play um, basically the recently we lost this uh, great legend and. Akineni Nageshwar Rao ji. Akineni, yeah. I can in Yeah, that's perfect. And this was a uh, brainchild of one of my uh, community colleagues, uh, Roja Tapi. She came up, and actually, I did not write this. I acted in there, 
but she was the one who wrote and directed and she asked me to if i can play anr in that so this was the segments uh, uh, from different movies starting from his early age to this last segment where you know he is uh, 85 90 great great man disciplined man and a great actor and i was very fortunate that i was offered this role and uh, i had uh, trisha also as my granddaughter uh, in that segment it, it was really uh, romantic boltena it's like uh, I, I had goosebumps nice. rehearsing uh, and uh, you know when i went down to the dais he was in me i, I felt like you know uh, but it was a, it was really a, a, a great opportunity for me i can, i can say you in his late 80s early 90s he was so agile uh, yes. and uh, alert very and and, uh, awkward, we, versatile yes with his creativity so if you were uh, to pick one inspiring element from his life for you what would that be that would be discipline food wise exercise wise and he he is in uh, movie industry you know money fame down to earth person that's the best character you know i can pick from him is like whatever you have accomplished however great person you are but when it comes to discipline or when you are interacting with the uh, with other people you are still the same man like you know that's amazing that's really amazing character he was here in new york we had the privilege to uh, host him um, and uh, actually to uh, honor some of the legends within uh, our community here great uh, doctors engineers accomplished people we had the opportunity to invite him and uh, we were so blessed that we received mementos uh, from his hands and i would not uh hide that I also got the opportunity of interviewing him uh, during that uh, visit and it was uh, quite uh, quite uh, an experience uh, to, to be with him. Um, yes. Now let's move with our creativity towards Father's Day and take uh, Geeta Ji's uh, insight on what should be done to make this day uh, a special day. What would be your tip uh, for maybe daughters and sons um, to make this Father's Day special for their father? I would think by starting out to be with your father if you can or remember the things about him just in case you cannot be for whatever reason. Also, whatever you are inspired by, by his teachings or by his being in your life, to be able to assimilate that and productively use in your day-to-day -day life in whichever way you can would be my thinking. Actually, the thing you said is long-term and the whole life is long-term. But let's just be uh, limited to our day. Yes, for that day. Yes, for that day. For that day, our way of celebration is what we normally do in our house. It's uh, waking. My husband is a big foodie. So the kids are all about ki lunch may ye banayenge dad will like it dinner may ye banayenge dad will love this to go to this restaurant and to have that so basically doing everything whatever he likes because i feel especially in this country you know men are so busy working the whole time and sabke bare mein wo sare ghar ke bare mein sochte rehte hain so that one day we totally cater to him and it's devoted to him that is so nice and that's what i feel and trisha the same question to you what has been your tradition to celebrate Father's Day and this Father's Day, uh, what are your plans? Well, I have some gift for him hiding. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, um, we, we usually go out uh, to dinner and um, like Geeta Ji said, you know, totally dedicate the day for him because, you know, it's very busy to catch him because once he goes out at 7 a.m. in the morning and he comes back at like 9 p.m. at night, so it's really hard to get a hold of him. Uh, yeah, so definitely, you know, that you're not going anywhere today. You're staying with us. Yeah. We, you know, like, I, I would like do anything to make him stay um yeah that's that's what it is like yeah so the the song of papa mere papa uh, 
I am reminded of and why don't we take a look at uh, some tiny little part from this joy filled song. So sometimes when you miss uh, your papa around you, how you deal with uh, that space of missing? Uh, Sriji, would you like to comment on uh, your way of dealing with someone who is not near you? Uh, definitely it will be tough, uh, um, especially uh, with Trisha. We born more. I'm not saying, you know, my son is not, not as much, I can say. And uh, those are the days, like you said, um, I leave home, she's sleeping, I come back, she's sleeping, or, you know, she's out in the college. We don't see each other for a couple of days. We email. <laughs> <laughs> we call, obviously, and we text. Um, so, thanks to the in uh, the technology these days, you don't miss a pal, a, a moment, you know. I miss her. <clears throat> if I'm uh, having my lunch, then I text, okay, I have you done your lunch. If I'm late, I'm going to communicate to her. So, it, thanks to the technology, like I said, you know, it, there are various ways of communicating, and if you have a, you know, will, you have a way to communicate. So here's a question that I just get as I listen to you. Was there any occasion when you compared the way you are relating to your children and the way your father was relating to you in terms of being open, openly communicating? And many times, if I I, I remember in a certain age group people, they always were scared of their father. They won't tell what they are thinking, what they are feeling. Now things are changing. So if you compare this aspect. Me, actually, I, I, I'm not even exaggerating. I imbibed, if not all, most of his uh, uh, style of living or communicating. Or, you really don't believe. I was um, 12 years old, <clears throat> and uh, like I said, my, my father uh, used to work, work as accountant. He used to bring his salary, give it to me, and I had to meet him. Oh, man. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the kind of openness we had. I, I got a job. I was away for uh, my studies, so uh, I, I missed a couple of years. I missed him a couple of, a couple of years, but I we came back uh, when I was working in the State Bank of India, when I came back home, right? Uh, <clears throat> He used to uh, don't wake him up in the morning. I'll I'll go to the market get the vegetables. I'll get the stuff. You you know I I don't want you to continue that. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> we we understand. So it, it's, it's it's mostly him, and that's what I want to give it uh, to my kids, mm. so that we can feel that nearness. Uh, those affections very vital. So what uh, what uh, Sriji has not said, uh, which you can hear, which you can feel, and that also tells us that what we have, how precious it is, and uh, how valuable it is. 
and we should make conscious efforts to sustain that beauty, uh, greatness of uh, being connected. So on that note, I just want to share this uh, song which goes uh, in um, connection with what Sriji just said. Let's take a look. Papa hue jab se khud hum ye samjhe Aasa nahi hai ye rishta ne bhaana Khud ko bhula kar bhi padta hai jeena Papa kabhi tum ne zahir kiya na Dil aap ka hum Dukhaye kabhi na बाबा बहुत याद आते हैं और उन यादों का हम क्या बनाते हैं उससे हमारा जीवन बनता है और जीवन बनते बनते वैसे वैसे पल हमारे सामने आते हैं जो सुंदर होते हैं और फिर एक बार मैं आपके साथ याद करना चाहता हूँ कि हमारे साथ हैं ट्रिशा जिनका एक्चुअल नाम प्रत्युषा है पर प्रत्युषा नाम से उनको कोई जानता नहीं है तो इसलिए ट्रिशा ने मिस साउथ एशिया ट्वेंटी Uh, beauty pageant Jita and she is also working closely with her colleagues uh, or uh, fellow students, friends at Queen's College uh, as president of UNICEF. Uh, so take us uh, to that direction. When you thought of it and you told your father that this is what I am doing, how was his reaction? I mean, he was very supportive because um, community where a service is like one of the um, important things. It's very close to my heart because um, the things that I saw in India, I brought that back here with me. Um, so it was very important for me. and. Uh, my dad was very supportive. I served as a member for UNICEF for two years and then got elected as the president for UNICEF at Queen's College. And um, since then, um, I think the journey has been amazing, you know, working with um, U.S. Fund for UNICEF and, uh, you know, educating, advocating about the children and the global issues worldwide. Future plans? Future plans. Um, I want. I would like to be a dentist. I want to be a dentist. Um, and um, I think with that career aspect in the medical field, um, I want to, um, you know, bring doctors from all areas and uh, organize medical camps and educational camps, um, you know, in India and also in different countries. And you, I am sure you have blessings from your father for that. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, <laughs> before we conclude, I want to uh, request both uh, Gita Ji and. Sriji, anything in particular where you felt after doing that, uh, you were sure that your father would be proud of you? Uh, from my doing whatever I did in my life, I think, <laughs> not to sound pompous, but the way I'm leading my life at this time, uh, I'm, my father, he tells me at least, every time I go back home, he always says how proud he is of... Uh, my being able to take care of every aspect of my life and balance it the way I have between my singing and hosting and uh, being a mother, being a wife, and still so carry the spiritual as well. So we for you on that. And uh, Sriji, what would you say, maybe something that happened where you felt your father was very happy with you? Yeah, that was the first moment. Um, when I uh, told him that I got promoted as assistant manager in the State Bank of India, he has been proud, like, you know, uh, because of the way the family actually uh, grew up, um, especially from the financial difficulties, definitely. But uh, I joined the State Bank, then I got promoted. That was my dream. And uh, I, I 
I did it because I want my kids also to say something proud about their uh, father. So then he said, you, you made uh, me proud too. Wonderful. So we are proud of uh, all of them and of course all of you because your presence uh, is our life. Really, uh, this program is live because of you. And uh, when we are together, I want to say that may all the fathers and daughters and sons, which means everybody, because somewhere you are related with this relation or that relation. And there is so much beauty that by being conscious, sensitive, and being a little bit more uh, caring, a little bit uh, additional understanding may help us in staying connected with the flow of eternal love, uh, which is a part of us uh, because we are human. And uh, have a great uh, upcoming Sunday. Celebrate Father's Day in your unique, distinct way without imitating anybody. Have your originality. Uh, on that note, once again, uh, lots of uh, thanks to Geeta Ji. Shri Nivas Guduruji Pratyusha, no, Trisha Guduruji. Uh, this is Ashok Vyas wishing you a great weekend ahead. See you on Monday.